Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Matty here from Tucker Box Design. I'm doing this painting up at the moment. Now bearing in mind, it's still a lot of work to do with it, but, but I was going to show you the poly tool and just how you can use it to build a shape like this. And it's pretty effective. It's, it's a really helpful tool. So let's get right into it here. So you left click on the lasso tool and hold down the mouse there. Then you go to the poly tool. It's the second one down there and release there and you'll get a tool that looks like this. And then after that, you can just go in and start creating shapes, uh, any sort of shapes you want to make. Now, bearing in mind with this tool, you have to go back to where you started from. So you can see there, you'll get that little circle showing up saying that you've got, got back to the beginning of your shape. From there, you can just, you can just go for it. You know, you can really just make any shapes you can conceive. Now, these shapes so I'm doing here are just simple shapes, but the really good thing about this tool is it really shows you how things fit together. I think that's the biggest problem with Mac when you're first starting out is how is this going to fit together logically and how it's going to work as a unit, especially if you've got something that walks or something like that. The other thing with the tool that's really, really good is it helps you develop shading techniques. So you can use this tool and go in and figure out how your shading is going to work. Really effective tool for that as well. So you get a bit of bang for your buck when you do this exercise. You really figure out how to shade something up and you figure out different shapes and how they're going to work together. Now, bearing in mind with this tool, you'll start to get shapes that are a little bit rigid you'll get all these straight lines this this is something you don't want you want an organic shape you know you want curved edges you want things that fit together in different ways different things like that but it's it's a really awesome way to get up to speed with doing that i guarantee you if you just explore shapes just for you know it doesn't take very very long and you'll be up to speed on how to put together shapes and then you can after that you can just draw them freehand and just put them in and they'll look really really awesome and you can get more of those curved lines and all, all that sort of stuff now the other thing i'd suggest too is get into uh, some tutorials i'll do one in the not too distant future here on perspectives like two point perspective three point perspective it's always good to have a bit of a knowledge of how things fit together as you can see here with this shape i've made a mistake you can see how it's receding away but i've made the two lines sort of diverge from each other that's not really how a shape is going to look in perspective if a shape is moving away from you it's going to be getting smaller so what you want to remember is or all you have to remember is you just have to have those lines uh, converging together instead of diverging out away from each other and then you've got your perspective and things look pretty awesome after that the thing with perspective is the great thing about it is if you've completed your drawing and you've shaded it and you've got to a stage you can check your perspective. You can put in perspective lines and say, oh, okay, that doesn't work. And you can go back and fix it up a bit. So don't worry too, too much if you've completed your drawing and it's a, it's a little bit out of perspective. No worries. Go back in, fix you. No, it's no problems to go back in and fix a few things and uh, make it look really schmick after that. The other thing I wanted to mention too is these, this means of propelling the spacecraft is an awesome, awesome thing because it's going to hide a few things. It's, you know, it's going to save you time with your painting and it's going to make things look really, really cool. It's, uh, it looks very, very realistic and it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can, there's a few things, I mean, that's covering, what's that covering, like 30% of the painting, 35% of the painting, so yeah, that'll save you a bit of time and get, 
get your paintings going really, really quickly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, plenty of examples out there of some amazing, amazing artists um, who do mech, uh, mind-boggling stuff. It, it really is good stuff. So get into those tutorials, uh, check out Perspective as well. And I really hope this tutorial has helped you out and gets you up to speed really, really quickly with doing your mech. All right, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you really soon. See ya.